the character of Daphne is just this fabulous comedic turn, and Anne really created her out of whole cloth. She's been around show business her entire life since she was 17 years old, so she's seen all of this. Who told you? Gary and I have been trying to work together for a really long time, and he called me and he said, I have a diva for you. And he just leads into this character so well. It is so funny. It's honestly such a bold, brave performance, how far she went. There were times I'm like, really, Annie? She went, absolutely. <laughs> just to embrace the size of this character with so much force and gusto. Holy crap. You know, you have to be kind of shameless and unafraid in comedy. And Anne just like completely brings that to life. Somebody asked me how it was going. And I said, I think you can see my performance from space, but. Gary and I talked about doing an, almost an old-fashioned 50s movie star as a prototype for her. She's a sort of modern-day Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor had a certain elegance and glamour to her, and I wanted Daphne to feel kind of like a low-rent version of that. And I knew that I'd be wearing diamonds, and I'd be wearing the, you know, the most amazing clothes. And so I thought, how do I sort of like undercut that sense of glamour? And I just thought nails and gum, um, you know, kind of big hair. She committed to this character of Daphne Kluger, and it was so much fun to watch because she would walk into the room and she would have these mannerisms, do these things. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And we literally were like, you know, is that Annie or is that the Barbie talking? Like, we don't know how to. And by the end, you could make fun of her character in such a genuine way, but she owned it. Thank you. She was unafraid to be, I don't want to say vapid and make you think that there really wasn't anything between her ears, but there was.